out there. All right, here is the latest on Tropical Storm Fred as of 4 a.m. It did organize some, of course, overnight. It became a tropical storm west northwest movement at 16 miles per hour, and it is going to be running into the Dominican Republic uh, through today. So that will likely weaken it some as it moves over the islands here and over some of this higher terrain. So it will likely be knocked back down to a tropical depression. But notice by tonight going into tomorrow morning, we're back out into the waters, warmer waters here running right near Cuba. And if it does stay over the waters, it will likely start to uh, gradually, gradually strengthen. It looks like it'll still have some wind shear down here, so probably not going to blow up too fast into anything. But as we go into Saturday morning, there it is getting closer to uh, the southern part of Florida and then getting into the Gulf of Mexico as we go in through Saturday and through the weekend and intensifying. They do have it making landfall early Monday as a tropical storm, but it's possible that this does become a hurricane depending on how far out into the Gulf of Mexico it gets. So the closer it runs to land here, it probably wouldn't strengthen much. If it takes more of this westerly track, it would get a little bit stronger. Notice we're not in the cone, but we still need to watch this. It's maintaining that uh, it's going to make landfall to our east, which would be good for us, meaning our impacts would be minimal here in southeast Louisiana. But we are close enough to where we need to continue to follow all of this and you know, this is still five days out, so there's still quite a bit of uncertainty. Some of that uncertainty comes with its land interaction today. How much is it going to knock it down? What does it look like once it gets past the Dominican Republic here? We'll be watching that. Notice our model consensus is still pretty good, though. It moves it northwest through Saturday and then starts to make that northerly turn. But that northerly turn is key, and when that happens uh, is key on where this thing ends up making landfall. There's the track of it moving over the Dominican Republic. It might miss the highest mountains, but it'll be close. Either way, it looks like it's probably going to knock it down some as we go through today. Now, of course, it's the Gulf of Mexico in the summertime. This thing is going to have abundant hot, hot temperatures or hot, hot water to run on through. Temperatures are approaching the 90 degree range down here. And they're even in the upper 80s all the way to the northern Gulf Coast. So water temperature certainly not going to be a factor with this thing, so it'll have plenty of fuel. The big question right now is just how much time does it have to recover from here to the point it gets to the Gulf of Mexico? So that's what we'll be watching with the strengthening of this. That northerly turn all depends still on that high pressure. It's riding around the high right now, but that high will be weakening as we get a dip in the jet stream here. And the, the stronger this jet stream dip is, the faster this thing will turn. If that dip ends up being weaker, this ridge will end up being stronger and it will travel further to the west. So that's kind of why we're still keeping a very close eye on this. And it's important to remember what the cone is, right? Day five in the cone, this is what it looks like when you look at just day five. The storm uh, theoretically could be anywhere inside this circle. That's what the day five cone means. And it stretches 200 miles from the point where we're forecasting it to the edge. And 60 to 70% of the time, the storm will stay generally in the cone, which is this circle. So you can imagine one third of the time, the storm can sometimes travel outside. So there's still plenty of room for error. And that's why we're not technically giving all the, the all clear yet here is right on our doorstep, right? But right now, the trends have certainly been that it stays east of us, but still some uncertainty here and just something we need to follow. Our concern level still remains pretty low for this as we go through. Uh, and just keep an eye on it. So if we do see any impacts along the northern Gulf Coast, especially for the Florida Panhandle, it would likely be Sunday and Monday. If you have plans there, keep an eye on that. Our forecast in the meantime, plenty of heat and plenty of humidity.